A real concern in the LEGO investing world is lingering supply. Every year, LEGO retires hundreds of sets, which just means they stop producing them. But over the past few years, retailers have had a lot of lingering inventory of sets past their retirement date. In 2020 and 2021, many people blamed these occurrences on supply chain issues, and that seemed like a good explanation at the time. Nevertheless, this is still an issue in 2024, and it seems worse than ever. You may be asking, why does this matter? It's only been six months into retirement for the sets that retired in 2023. From a LEGO investing point of view, the longer a set you've invested in stays in stock from retailers, the longer you're going to have to wait for that set to rise in value. Depending on your investing strategy, you're either going to have a longer hold time than you expected, or you're going to have to sell that set for less than you'd hoped. On my channel, I've been very transparent that LEGO investing is not easy money, there's a lot of work involved, and roadblocks can come up. As I've said in the past, retired sets lingering in stock from retailers months and months after retirement is the biggest concern I see with the LEGO investing market today. It's been a common topic in my investing community, and all this discussion has made me really want to know exactly how bad this issue is. So this week, I spent hours and hours researching every single set that retired last year to see if any of them were still available at major retailers. If you appreciate the work I put into this, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a quick like below. Anyways, I was completely shocked by my findings. I went into this expecting maybe 10% or less of the 354 sets that retired last year to still be in stock. I was incredibly far off. I was able to find 216 of the 354 sets that retired last year still in stock from a major retailer. That means 61%, six out of every 10 Lego sets that retired last year are still available six months into retirement. Your next logical question is likely, which retailer has the most of these sets still in stock? If you had asked me this question before I did this research, I'd probably have guessed Amazon, since that's what we always hear about so often, having lingering stock. It was actually Barnes & Noble, and it wasn't even close. Barnes & Noble had 160 sets still in stock. That means they're still carrying 45% of LEGO's entire retired set list from last year. This was quite surprising to me. I knew they had quite a few retired sets still in stock that were good pickups when they run triple stamps promotions stacked with a Barnes Noble membership and discount on gift cards, but I hadn't explored just how many sets they still had in stock from last year. I do want to note here that if a set was in stock at multiple retailers, I didn't document every retailer that had it in stock. Basically, the first retailer I found a certain set in stock at, I would note down that it was available at that retailer. So the numbers I'm going to share for other retailers are likely higher, but they still wouldn't be even close to Barnes & Noble. It breaks down to Amazon having 28 still in stock, Walmart with 13, then Best Buy, Kohl's, Zavi, iWoot, Macy's, and Lego.com all having less than 10 each. As I did this research, I'm not going to lie, I was very discouraged, as I'm sure you are right now. But as I digested this information, I came to a less negative conclusion that I'll discuss later in the video. Barnes & Noble has always been a great retailer for finding retired LEGO sets at. The reason for this is they have strict online limits. If a set is limit 5, once you've bought 5 sets, you're not able to order any more. Any order you place for more will just get cancelled. At some point, this limit does reset, but it can take a while. It's also just not commonly known that Barnes & Noble carries Lego, so not many people know that you can still buy these retired sets there. While this is far from ideal, I believe it's the best case scenario that a retailer like Barnes & Noble has all of this lingering stock. Amazon having lingering stock is a much larger issue because that's a selling platform where many people sell their inventory. If an investor wants to sell a set that's still in stock on Barnes & Noble but sold out on Amazon, there will be demand for that set. But if it's still in stock on Amazon, everyone will just be buying from Amazon directly and inventory in investors' hands will stay stagnant along with the price appreciation. If I can take this even a step further, I'd honestly say this is a great opportunity for investors who put in work to stack discounts to buy some really great sets that are still in stock from Barnes & Noble, then immediately go to Amazon to sell those sets for a great profit. Because prices for many of these sets have still risen a decent amount despite this lingering stock. Like I mentioned earlier, the best time to buy from Barnes & Noble is during triple stamp promotions. The stamps program is basically just like the insider's reward program that Lego has. They give you 5% cash back to use on future Barnes & Noble orders. So triple stamps gives you 15% cash back. If you have the Barnes & Noble membership, that's $40 a year, 
you get 10% off every order with that membership. Then you can pay for that order with discounted gift cards that you can get for upwards of 15% off depending on the time of year. Plus you can use Rakuten for an extra 1.5% cash back as icing on top of that order. Just as an aside, if you want to sign up for Rakuten, my referral link is in the description below. But in total, that is an all-in cashback amount of 40% depending on how discounted your gift cards were. So if you're willing to do some digging, identify which sets still in stock from Barnes & Noble are selling for considerably more on your selling platform and can turn a profit you're happy with after fees and shipping. This is really a great opportunity. If you're wanting to save some time trying to find which sets are still in stock from which retailers before the next triple stamps promo, I posted the entire list of sets that I found in stock broken down by retailer in my Patreon. Looking forward, we should ask ourselves how can we avoid this issue in the future? And honestly, there's not a simple answer to this. What I'm trying to do is avoid risk as much as possible. First, I only buy sets at the best prices possible by stacking discounts, so even if that set lingers in stock for a year and you have to sell near MSRP, I'm still making a profit. Second, I have a set in stone investing strategy where I know what I'll do if a set I invested in underperforms. If a set hasn't hit my target of double my money after fees and shipping a year and a half into retirement, I will sell those sets at market rate and reinvest that money into retiring sets that have much more potential to grow my money faster. And finally, I'm staying diversified in the sets that I'm investing in. I'm not narrowing my focus down to just 10 or 15 sets. My goal is 30 sets to be streamlined with my inventory and selling processes, but also diverse in my investments. So if some of my sets are impacted by lingering stock, my whole business isn't going to have a cash flow issue. If I only had 10 sets that I invested in and five of them happened to underperform, that would have a large impact on how my business could grow that year. While this definitely isn't a fun topic as a Lego investor, it's very important to be aware of what's happening and prepare yourself if this impacts a set that you invested in. I'm very interested to hear everyone Everyone's thoughts on this topic so definitely drop those in the comments below i hope you found this video interesting and helpful if you did i'd appreciate it if you could drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more weekly lego investing content and with that thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you in the next video as always my videos are not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor i'm only sharing my journey as a lego investor and I encourage you to do your own research before buying any lego sets